I was at a party last night yeah. where they were, there was a huge debate mm. about electric vehicles. Okay. Would you get into a car that mm. has no steering wheel, that a robot drives you around? A lot of people have fears about that, but I'm okay with that. Because anyways, when you sit in a plane, right, you don't know where the pilot is. The pilot is sitting up front, but do you see him driving around, uh, flying it around? No, you don't, right? The planes are much more safer than cars. Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, I think uh, it's tried and t tested and the testing is continuing. It's getting better and better. So I don't have any fears about sitting in a car with a no driver. First, absolutely. So you're, you're okay to live in a future with robotic cars? Oh, absolutely. I'm very keen to see the first robot, what the, what is that? Elon Musk's company, they launched That's recently, right. right? The robot who can be at your home, who's going to yeah. be helping around. I'm, I'm more than happy with that. I'd love to. Don't Which, you like going for long drives? Oh, of course. So where I think the robo taxi, the word taxi itself is used is typically when you're doing shorter commutes, but for longer commutes, you still want to have that ride and enjoy. Um, because with, with a taxi, with a robot taxi, you are thinking about starting from one place, going to another place, trying to figure out the parking. You lose so much amount of time. Maybe you can gain productivity by just while you are going, jumping from one building to another building two blocks away. And if you want to drive around, right, you're still catching up with your emails, phones and whatever, right? 